mailbag time small number of packages here this one should be a nice quick one don't forget the links down below the things that I can give you links for so make sure you check those out ah, okay it's some wire PTFE wire silver plated single core 32 AWG so this is like little hookup wire if you're doing repairs to circuitry and stuff like that replacing traces which have been damaged in some way you can use this to do that or hook up equipment make bodges but the thing about PTFE is that it's very low leakage and also heat resistant so if it really is PTFE I expect it will be now I did actually buy a few different ones so I'm actually wondering if one of these other packages might be some more let's have a look might have sharpened around knife yeah there's there you go there's some orange same stuff 32 AWG as well yep just different colour let's check this one some blue check it make sure it's the same one 32 yep I'm not sure this is some or not this might be I want to send it all in the same packet I mean I've got them all from the same supplier at the same time in one purchase why did I have to do individual packages for each one that's just annoying this is annoying as my ram knife in sharpening there you go some yellow this might be some Aha, finally two in one packet here we go black and white these are also 32 AWG all the same sort of stuff I've just got a selection of colours so I need to do some repairs or hook things up could be useful and multiple colours means you've got this chance of screwing something up if you need to do multiple traces seems to be a theme going on here seems to be some wire what is this one? 10 copper cable uh, 20 meters, 20 AWG but it's a solid core solid core wire so I didn't have any solid core wire I've only got stranded stuff and sometimes you want solid core doing certain tasks so a bunch of that links down below also thanks to my existing Patreon supporters and YouTube members if you want to support the channel and contribute even commenting down below or commenting in my videos and that all helps give me a thumbs up that helps the channel as well sharing the videos really helps the channel because it means more people will get to see my videos that's beneficial as well so anything you can do to help the channel it's always really appreciated it doesn't have to be financial it can always just be a little bit of help but financial certainly helps because it means I can buy things to make videos with which is quite important now this one here I think I'm going to have to use a real knife because it looks a bit like my ran knife I can get through this ah right brilliant so I showed some very much like this before in a previous mail bag not long ago maybe a few weeks ago now I'm quite sure not sure about timelines and those were for BNC's these are like BNC dust caps these ones are triax dust caps so you've got a triax connector which has got three lugs on it then you can use one of these it's got a chain there so you can attach it and little you know, if you stick it through a screw or something less likely to lose it that way it provides a bit of shielding as well as keeping dirt and stuff out so it's a good thing to have I think on some devices it may or may not matter but I've got a device which currently doesn't have anything like this in it I'm using a little rubber cap and um, that's that Keyfully 220 which I repaired so now I've got one of these I can attach that to the rear panel and I've got a nice proper metal cap for it to help protect it when it's not in use and I think I need the parts out of it have a screen it's an A125 so I think it's an A12 screen yeah because I've ordered a couple of screens recently I think that's the A12 and of course it's got the obligatory tool bag taped to the outside at least I stick it to the outside so if there is an issue it won't actually damage the screen so in a way that's you know, it's quite clever the way to do that you know it's far better to chuck the tools on the outside where it doesn't matter if, you know, because they're not going to be damaged what's this one this is a rear panel this is for a A22 rear panel because the phone I'm repairing 
needs a new one because it's, it's cracked so I want to replace that. I mean it's probably fine but it's not much to replace that panel to a, with a new one. Here is strangely a complete shell so just a rear panel only and a complete shell which I didn't realise came the rear panel so I probably could have got away with not buying the rear panel now I've got a spare one. Oh well that's fine I didn't realise it came with it, I didn't notice that. Excellent, so that's a rear housing. Also for the A22, obviously. And you've got this bag, Let's see what's in here. More tools, but not protected separately this time. Mind you, it's inside a separate packet, so you've got more tools like this. A wiper thing. More packaging, a box and a main housing right so a screen and main housing so this is the rest of the phone basically and there's also a screen protector just here which i will chuck in afterwards and it's just easier to replace the whole housing than it is to try and mess around trying to do the screen so okay what we've got here thunderbolt 5 cable just to one now this bag was already ripped we will cut it um hopefully everything actually arrives. I should probably check this. That's a 0.5 meter Thunderbolt cable and this is a one meter long USB-C cable which has got a USB-A adapter on it. I should probably just go and check to make sure that nothing fell out of that packet because that packet was already partially open. So I was actually looking inside here. A bit squashed but it's fine. Power delivery support as well. It's got an edge marker chip in it apparently. Does that make it USB-C or Thunderbolt if it's got an e-marker chip? I've got no idea. Anyway, it says 80 gigabit. I just wanted a shorter cable because I've got a long cable on something right now. It's about a metre long. It makes it a bit messy. Just put, put, put a shorter cable on. Make the wiring a bit less clumsy on the desk. Anyway, not too exciting. So, bonus items. U-Green cables. These just look like the same thing. Uh, 10 meter long USB-C, USB-A cable. 1 meter long, the same. Uh, half meter long, the same. And a what, another 1 meter long, the same. So I just got those because I didn't actually have many USB-C cables. I wanted to use one for something. It's like, I actually struggled to find one. So I, think it's, I thought I had bought some already. Anyway, I've got some more now. Packaging looks awfully familiar. like it's come from the same place. Anyway, what is this thing? It's a T-piece. So it's a 3 lug Tri-X T. 3 lug Tri-X. Don't have a specific need for it at the moment, but this sort of thing, I found it's a good idea to have them for when you do need them. You've got it in stock, you know, you can just pull it out and use it. I don't think it was that expensive. Wall wire. Same as that stuff, I'm guessing. Uh, 20 meters, 28 WG, tin copper cable, hard wire, so solid core basically. Same as that yellow one there. Excellent. Xtool AnyScan. This is a review item. Yes, this is for review. A30M, that's right. So they sent me this to review. They got in contact me asking what I want to do a review. I went, yeah, okay, I suppose they have a look. So this is meant for OBD2 type vehicles. You plug it into the OBD2 port, use some software on your phone or tablet or something. And then you can find out what issues there are, what trouble codes might be, you know, statuses, that sort of stuff for diagnosing vehicles. Or maybe, I don't know if there's other things you can do with it. It says all makes, all models, all systems. Full vehicle diagnostics, reading clear DTCs, live data stream, System management and resets. It's got some resets on it as well. I'm not quite sure how many. There's some QR codes there on the side. Get in the apps, I suppose. Yeah, so there's the apps. I'll be doing a full review on this. Watch out for that soon. Well, a full review as I can do. I'll be trying a few vehicles, that sort of stuff. And I've done a few reviews on things like this before, like, like scan tools. I've done a few of them. I'm not an expert in automotive stuff, but it looks like an interesting thing to play with. Oh, real knife it is. Which also is blunt, so I'm fairly safe. 
because you got fingers so you can see the thing inside there it's a film these are polarizing films in brightly got two different ones wasn't quite sure which one was the most appropriate they're actually self-adhesive as well so you can stick them onto something so it's really meant for like displays and things on like that you've got a 45 degree and a zero degree which is obviously the angles you're at with the polarizer and the idea with this is to actually stick it on like a camera or something Mag uh, microscope most likely I don't know which one would be better I don't know which one would be the best one to do maybe the 45 degree that's why I've got two different types and you put that underneath the microscope and then when you're looking at components you should get less um, reflections things like that you know using polarized light means you can actually get like the markings of the components and like ICs and all that a bit easier let me see if I can find something to look at there you go here's an example my RAM stick there's a chip on there in this lighting can't read it if you move around the lights a little bit you might be able to get it so you can read it if you get it just right there you go there's a bit there you can kind of see it there all right it's a lot of messing around and you can kind of get it but it's not easy so let's see if this goes any better with polarizing film now let's try the 45 degree and just put it between the two and rotate it around nothing there let's try it on the actual lens itself rotate the lens around nothing really happening there okay let's try the zero degree one it may be able to adjust the lighting a bit more sometimes the combination of both there's zero degree yeah so it's not really doing anything there right let's try changing the lighting again and see if we can get something a bit different in theory it should actually help like that one it's probably going to prove wrong it's turned up being a waste of time that's not helping at all okay let's do light from the sides like this and try again so yeah that is helping that's like the worst there and the best there so it is actually doing something that one that's a 45 degree and there's a zero degree one yeah that's like the best there so it is doing something but I'm not really sure it's enough now do I need to polarize the light itself let's take one of the lights off so it's got one light no polarizing the light itself doesn't help polarizing both no I'm just going to see if I can get something which actually works so I'll stick a polarizer across the light and bear in mind I've got these other lights here as well which are causing problems too and then we'll stick this other one across the lens and see if we can get a combination of both which works no so there goes that theory it's supposed to help in this case it isn't that could be a waste of time then I might have to play with that some more but I'm pretty sure it should do something and just to prove that it is a polarizing film I'll stick it in front of the screen and I'll turn it see it's got a lot brighter turn it this way it's got darker so it's definitely a polarizing film and that's the 45 degree one this is the zero degree one same deal it is polarizing so it's doing something I just need to probably play around and get something that actually works in this situation doing all this sort of stuff is always a pain just trying to see chip numbers and what have you being able to stick a polarizer across it would definitely be helpful if that will actually work probably going to be a case of setting up a certain way but I don't know what it is yet. The Skybook over here, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, you want to see more of my videos, not just mailbag, but my repairs and things like that. There's other links down below there to watch other videos. There's a Patreon supporting over there if you're like becoming a Patreon supporter and helping to support the channel, helping to buy things from mailbag or any other things like bits of test equipment to do repairs on. That's the biggest cost is buying broken test equipment to do repairs. That's what I really like doing, but it's costing me thousands of dollars each time. It costs a lot to do this channel and all our supporters I, I really appreciate. And also down below in the description there, there's also a link there to buy me a coffee if you want to do that. If you want to do a one-off donation, something like that, you can just do that too. That also helps. Okay, thanks a lot. Catch you later.